Before we had the precision cooker, I used to cook a lot on the stovetop and on the grill. And when you cook meat, it's really hard to know when it's done. So it was also awesome, cooked way more than I wanted it to be. The precision cooker has definitely inspired me to be a little bit more adventurous. You get a consistent product every time. If you set it to the right temperature, it stays at the right temperature. It doesn't overcook, it doesn't undercook, it's perfect. So I was trying to figure out something to make for dessert when we had a bunch of people over. I went on the app and I looked at a couple things and I said, oh, I think I remember I saw a creme brulee recipe. I looked at the steps and the ingredients. The setup is pretty quick. So I went out, bought everything, came home, made salted caramel creme brulee, put it in little mason jars, and I set the timer for 176 for an hour, came back, and it was all done perfectly. I like the flexibility because I can set something and I can walk away, and I can come back and it's still not overcooked. It's kind of exciting, it's new, and it's different, and it's really, really easy to use, and it impresses people when they come over. We had a dinner party recently, and I used a precision cooker, and it was like dinner and a show because everybody's sitting around the bar here and I was able to cook over here and people were watching what I did. So I made steaks that night and I cooked them just under where they should be, took them off, let them sit for a bit, blow torched them and they were perfect. People were a little skeptical when I suggested we go to our house instead of go out to eat, but I said, I promise you, you won't regret it. And they didn't. So now we entertain all the time. I feel like I definitely get restaurant quality results when I cook with the precision cooker. If I have a choice between cooking something on the stovetop or on the grill, I'll go to the precision cooker.